Finally, we have the top view to organize its dimensions. The 2.625 is already roughly in the right place. We, we just have to replace some of these other ones. For example, these two radii, I would actually like those to appear on the right. So, to move dimensions within a, within a view, you can grab the arrow tip, left click and drag it over to where you want to move it, and now it is on this side. Let's do that same thing for the radius of 0.25. Here it is. I'll grab the tip and then bring it over to this bottom right corner. And then drag it like so. There we go. This radius of 0.125, we don't need that, so let's hit the delete key on our keyboard once we highlight it. We don't need it because we wrote a radius of 0.125 typical here. Now, I want these 0.25s more inward. And here I have a little dilemma because I would like these to, to flip sides. I, I could get behind that like that, or I can hit the little dot that's right at the corner point of the dimension line to flip their side. And then also with, with this quarter inch dimension in particular, it's still showing its extension lines, but when I have it over here, I actually don't want those extension lines to show. So to get rid of those, I can right click near the extension line and hit hide extension line. I can do that the same thing for the other one. And there we go. Now we can move this inward and not have a problem. These are all the dimensions we need for the top view, and if, if we look at our drawing as a whole, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. We might want to drag our front, right, and section view up. If we drag just the front view up, the right and the section view will move along with it. And notice no, that if I move to the left or the right, the top view moves with, with the front view. These views are said to be aligned. I can break alignment by right clicking in a view, going to the alignment option saying break alignment. I can also add a alignment which I would like to do for my detail view and my isometric view. I want my detail view and my isometric view to be aligned horizontally with the center of the top view. So I can right click in my detail view first, go to alignment, and then click align horizontal by center and then I can click the view to which I want to align it to. And do the same thing for the isometric. I can go to alignment, align horizontal by center, click the top view. Now the top view is aligned with the detail and the isometric view. This is exactly what I wanted. That is it for our first drawing. In our next set of videos, we'll get started on the on the on the machined configuration version of our of our drawing